It is interesting, but true, that often local gun stores are a great place to find classic shotguns. There are many reasons for it, but the most important one is that there are a lot of shooters that are buying new shotguns while trading in old ones. That includes brake actions, pumps, and semi-autos. You never know what is waiting for you, so go and take a look. With that being said, let's go to our list of classic shotguns that you can get at your local gun shop. Number 5. Benelli Super Black Eagle The Benelli Super Black Eagle was built like a tank and at the same time super sleek. Chances are that you know someone who has a Benelli Super Black Eagle 2 or 3 if you are one of those hunters sitting in a duck blind. But it is the original Super Black Eagle from Benelli that everyone wants. This was the hot gun when it comes to auto loaders and duck hunting. What made it so special was the fact that it was the first semi-auto platform for the 3.5 inch shot shell. Everyone was ready to trade in their pumps and gas action autos for one of these. This was a gun that you could use and abuse, beat the hell out of, bring into muddy fields and swamps infested with alligators without having to worry. It would just shoot every time you pulled that trigger. Originally, they were imported into the U.S. by Heckler & Koch, but later they came through Benelli USA. The problem with this gun is exactly the fact that it is highly sought after. You will be hard pressed to find one, so go to smaller local stores where one of them might just lie around forgotten and not appreciated. Those who bought them when they came out had the means to afford a $1,000 auto-loading shotgun. They have neither a financial reason to trade them in nor do the guns show any sign of wear and tear thanks to their high quality. They are just super durable. Number 4. Winchester 37 Red Letter The Winchester 37 Red Letter is a real workhorse shotgun. It is nothing fancy but it comes with quality American craftsmanship and it is built for blue collar hunters. Being single shot, it comes with the beauty of simplicity, and it sports a little hammer that is deadly precise. If you need to hunt something to put food on the table, the 37 is your go-to gun. Winchester introduced this model in 1936. It was the time of the aftermath of the Great Depression. Much of the population still lived in rural areas and money was tight. What was needed was a reliable and affordable gun for the family farm. Winchester, famous for building the gun that won the West, now produced the gun that was economical and able to keep Americans fed. When it hit the market, it could be had for less than $9, ideal for the hard times then. They were available in 12-gauge, 16-gauge, 20-gauge, and 28-gauge as well as in 410 bore. There was just the standard model at the beginning, to which a boy's model was added in 1958. None of them came with a serial number. The model known as Red Letter came out in 1948 and sported red paint, filling the Winchester logo on the underside of the receiver. They do carry a little bit more value, on average about $100 more than other variants, so keep your eyes open for one of them with a red belly. Number 3. Ruger Red Label It was John Browning's Super Post that was the first American over-under shotgun. However, Bill Ruger took this system and added investment casting to it. This was a process with a mold for precise casting from refractory alloys. And such, the red label was born. Ruger is known for making very successful designs which are at the same time on the economical side of things. Good examples are their single action revolvers and the Ruger 1022. Introduced in 1977, the red label followed exactly the same concept. It was well made and accurate while at the same time coming with a reasonable price. Not long later in 1979 the 12 gauge model appeared and in 1994 the 28 gauge model followed. Originally a system of the 1970s, most red labels feature screw in chokes which became prevalent around that time. Other variations followed with the year, like the replacement of early blued models with newer ones sporting silver receivers giving birth to their signature look that they kept through the whole production that followed. There were variants with silver pistol grips or straight English style grips. Some sported 24 karat gold inlay receivers and there was a sporting clay version as well as an all weather version. These are stainless guns featuring synthetic stocks and they are mainly used for hunting waterfowl. The production went on until 2011, but that was not all for the Red Label. In 2013, Ruger introduced the Red Label 2. To ease production, it sports a one-piece receiver instead of the original two-piece ones eliminating the time needed for fitting. 
While the idea was good in principle, the Red Label 2 could not follow on the steps of the original Red Label. High costs doomed it from the start. With it, the last American-made double went out of production, making it now a specialty of Turkish manufacturers. Number 2. Browning Model 12 If you know the shotgun world, you flinch a little bit when you hear Browning Model 12, and you would be right. It was originally a Winchester Model 12, which was produced until 1964. If you are looking for one of them, you should bring a lot of cash, especially the 28-gauge variants are highly sought after as there were only 3,000 of them made. They can cost you more than $10,000 a pop. However, if you do want to go that far, you can just go for a Browning Model 12 made in Japan. Winchester and Browning are both under FN Herstal, and there was a limited batch of Model 12s made under the banner of Browning in Miroku, Japan. There were also other Browning guns made there, for example, the Auto 5s. The Browning Model 12s are made in two different grades, Grade 1 and 5. Grade 5 sports better wood and golden receiver inlays. You can get them in either 20 gauge or 28 gauge. From these, the 28 gauge model sports a 26 inch barrel with a fixed modified choke and runs you $1,150 if it is in good condition. There are collectors out there that bought them in bundles hoping for a rise in prices. But while they did become more valuable, they are nothing compared to the originals made by Winchester. Number 1. Remington 870 Wingmaster 410 When it comes to hunting, 410 bore has become more important over the last years. It is the smallest bore for shotguns and it has always been used for small game as well as for skeet. Remington introduced its 410 Wingmaster in 1969, especially for skeet, which became an Olympic sport in 1968. The Remington 870 was very popular, so it was expanded to include 28 gauge and 410. To make the use of them easier, they also came with weighted magazine caps, which replicates the typical weight of a 12 gauge. As a standard, the Model 870 in 410 features a barrel with a length of 25 inches and with a modified fixed choke. It is perfect for hunting squirrels, rabbits, and doves. Granted, doves pose a little bit of a challenge, but who does not want to show his skills? Using TSS or bismuth, it is even possible to kill waterfowl at out to ranges of 30 yards. Go with tungsten and it can handle turkey. While the receiver of the Wingmaster 410 is scaled down, the gun maintains the 14-inch stock of the 12-gauge, making it even easier to use. Earlier models come with a pressed check ring while later ones sport a crisply gut one. If you find a Wingmaster in mint condition, it should cost around $800. You might want to check more than one store if you really want to find one as they are not that easy to get. And there you have it, some of the best classical shotguns that are highly sought after and interestingly enough, at least sometimes to be found in your local gun store. So, go shopping and keep your eyes open. If you think there are other great shotguns that are hard to find but can be spotted especially in a local gun store, let us know in the comments. And please, also add what makes them so great that they belong to the list.